Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm here at Bauma 2022 and I've discovered we have hydrogen in the space. And I've got Peter who is the hydrogen expert and we're on the Hyundai construction equipment site here at Bauma. Peter, we've been talking over the waves on LinkedIn for some time. Yeah, he said, yeah. Peter, you've got to come and see me at Bauma. And I said, why? And you said, I'm not telling you until you get here. And this <laughs> is why, folks, because we've got the brand new hydrogen machine it's working it's a prototype but it's working it it's operational we're going to have a talk about that now and we're also going to have a discovery about the hydrogen fuel cell folks that's been designed inside this peter what do we see behind us it's an excavator but what is it as we can see it's a real excavator but it's one of our highlights at this year bauma show here in munich and it's indeed as you mentioned before peter it's a few, it's a hydrogen excavator working with fuel cell technology right. and that's the big difference because you can have use internal combustion engines but you still it's burning the the, the fuel yep, so in yep. that case the hydrogen in our case the, the fuel cell, you can consider it as a power plant on board. Oh, right. So it's yeah. actually creating the power on demand. Right. So tell me how that works then. So we, we, we normally, so potentially we could pump hydrogen That's into it. a big tank yeah. or we can pump hydrogen into a fuel cell. What is the difference and, and what does it generate and how does that work? It's not that complicated. Indeed, right. hydrogen comes in the form of gas. Yep. Yeah, we got five tanks on board here with a total capacity of about 20 kilos, kilograms. Yep. And the, uh, what, what's happening in the fuel cell, it's a chemical reaction between the, the hydrogen and the oxygen. Yep. And that chemical reaction is creating energy, driving right. an electric motor. So it's an elect electric vehicle. Yep. And um, that then drives the, uh, the hydraulic system of the machine. And the, the goal or the benchmark, of course, was that this machine should reach the, the characteristics or the performance parameters as its conventional counterpart. Yeah, and I think that's really important, folks, because we're seeing hydrogen as the go-to. I spoke to a main contractor the other day, and they're saying we're probably going to leap from diesel past electric and onto hydrogen because for major infrastructure projects, you know, hydrogen, bigger machines, it's all about how you can get that productivity, the efficiency without having a machine that weighs too much, but equally without having to put in the electric infrastructure to, to charge them with a the fuel cell. We'll see this in a moment, folks. You fill it up, a bit like going to the fuel tank because it's a fuel cell. So let's go and see a little bit more of the machine, shall we, Peter? Come on. Right. right. So, Peter, we are now at the business end of the machine. Come around here, um, Peter, and we'll just talk about some of the design. So, right. fundamentally, folks, uh, the business end, we know we need to dig on an excavator, a wheeled excavator. Absolutely. But That's... a wheeled excavator, we know, is a utility vehicle as well. So, right. we will see this doing different applications, see it on highways, perhaps, see it in the inner city environments. Yeah. Yeah. And so, what we need is functionality as well. So hydraulic power is now becoming more important. Tilt rotators and things like that, attachments for these machines. Tell me about how that all works. Right. In fact, the, the choice of the machine to use the, the hydrogen technology for us was almost obvious because we selected a wheeled excavator. Here is a machine with 14, 15 tons. It's a machine that's prone to work in urban environments, yep. as you said. So this is where it absolutely makes sense to use hydrogen because the, um, the big uh, difference or the, the, the how do you say, the, the, the real uh, important fact is that you have very short fueling time. Yep. It's about 10 minutes yep. and it gives you an autonomy for more than eight hours. Right. And it's not like electric mini excavators <laughs> where we have to charge a full night and then maybe have a, well, we say a full working day, but that's a matter of interpretation. It could be four or five hours with a little bit of recharging during lunchtime, yep. maybe. Here we're really talking about eight hours of full working autonomy on this machine, so that makes full sense. And the, the nicest thing of it all is the exhaustion. Yep. Because what comes out at the end of the tailpipe is two fat zeros, folks. Nothing, you know, because it's not nothing. It's not, well, it's not out, nothing. out it's, of it, it's obviously, water. is water. Cool. What about the actual design? 
you know, what about the actual design? We see a really nice cab at the front there, you know, and we see a different kind of shape and design to this prototype. Obviously, that might change in the future as you, it, as you it move will, forward. It will but have to be, it's, yeah. it's quite a striking design, isn't it? Why have you gone for that kind of design and the, the edginess of it? Well, it may look nice at the moment, but I can assure you this is not the final design because <laughs> our, our company designers haven't really laid their hands on the machine. Oh, right, okay. It's, it's a working prototype. That's our first goal. We, we do some testing, validation for, for some time, of course. And then, um, then the designers come into question. Right. And they will make it look a little bit nicer than it is today. I think it looks quite cool, folks. I like kind right. of the edginess, but you, you're absolutely right. We're talking about a prototype here, folks, and it's actually about the mechanics of what's inside the, the booms and everything working together and, yeah. and getting it yeah. on site into the conditions so that we can see how that operates in different environments. And that's really important. Come on, let's go and have a look about some more of this machine. I can't reach this, folks, but I'm told this is where the fuel cells are, isn't that's, it? That's it, exactly. But I can come over here, folks. Come on. This is where the magic refueling happens. And I'm here, in here, is the hydrogen cell, hydrogen port, and Peter, come on, let, let yep. me tell you how much difference is that making to refueling if I'd have had to have an electric vehicle well, in, in this context and charge it up with a size like this. That's, that's one of the biggest advantages of the fuel cell uh, because refueling takes about 10 minutes and not more. It's just about due of car today, and that wow. gives you full eight hours autonomy to work. Fantastic, and I think the great thing about that, folks, is the fact that we're back working. And the other thing that I like about a wheeled product is obviously that can travel at speed to yes. get to the refueling station. How fast can, can this machine the go? The machine goes uh, a maximum of 40 kilometers per hour. Right. Yeah, driving on the road. Yep. Yeah, so it's whoosh, straight it's there. It's a utility vehicle, and there it goes. Fantastic. Yes. So come on, folks, I've got something else to show you because I don't like to do things of I halves, folks. Oh, by the way, look here, uh, rear view camera system already put on the prototype piece of thinking out there already. And uh, over here, obviously, great access to the radiators and everything That's like it. that for maintenance. Cooling, cooling package right over here, yep. yeah, which is necessary in the machine. We even had to boost the power up a little bit more than what's used in the hydrogen car, yep. yeah, because we need the, the cooling uh, performance as well here. And what you see over here, folks, is a hydrogen car. And uh, this is where the technology comes in, folks. And I'm going to show you the cells that matter. Come on. Right, here we go. So, Peter, we're coming into the innovation section here. And what's really exciting about this is... It's not a battery, Peter. It's not What battery. is it, Peter? It's a fuel cell. It's, it's, a, it's a hydrogen fuel, fuel cell. cell. Come on, this is it. Right, we've got a 30 kilowatt one here and yeah. we've got a 50, 50 kilowatt, kilowatt one here. Yes. So obviously different sizes um, and, and I guess you could maybe marry that one and this one within yes, a machine, can you? can, you? you can yeah. indeed. In yeah. fact, at the Hyundai Construction Equipment, we are very lucky because we got our hands on the technology already right. through our partners at Hyundai Motor Group and Hyundai Mobis, which is an internal supplier, a technology company, in-house supplier. They are the ones who make these fuel cells and they're even thinking about making them uh, commercially available oh, right. to other parts. So uh, what you see here, the big one here, the 50 kilowatt uh, fuel cell is the one that's actually in the, the Nexo car. Okay. being used, the yeah. technology, not the big box. Yeah. And the same we are using in our hydrogen excavator. So there we go. So what we have is a vision, folks, for the hydrogen future. But it's not a vision. It's now a reality. So we've got the cells. That is the power that matters. We've got the machine. That's outside. The designers haven't got hold of it yet, so I'm sure yes. it'll change a little bit, but yes. I kind of like it. It's edgy. <laughs> but then we've got the refueling. Ten minutes to refuel. The power's there. It's a wheeled product, so you can travel to and from the refueling station. Right. Obviously, all of that infrastructure is needed to use these machines, but these machines in a city, um, really, really low noise, no emissions, but you corrected me right. A little bit of dro water dropping yes. out the bottom yes. end yes. for Indeed. that. Peter, we have a hydrogen potential to be a big, big impact to the industry. Better sustainability, but Absolutely. reduced emissions, and to take us to that next step. It jumps from diesel in some cases like this, with a removing electric. battery all the way to hydrogen. That's that it. jump and that gap can be crossed now 
thanks to the team, very clever sub fuel cells, very clever machine outside, and a great guy who's been looking after <laughs> all the design and keeping me informed. Cheers very much, Peter. Thank you.